Hey everyone, LensRenoz here and welcome to another satisfactory episode. Hoping that my video is recording okay. I've been playing around with a little cheap video capture device that I, I purchased and trying to see if I can capture my original Xbox and um, in doing so it kind of played around with my... What do I not have? Approaching on another one. No, it shouldn't, shouldn't be encroaching. Um, and hoping that... Is that backwards? Are you backwards? You're backwards. Um, yeah, and it, it's it's kind of played around a little with my um, OBS settings. So hopefully... Hopefully this is all recording okay. Everything seems to be smooth. And... Um, fingers are crossed that everything is good. Um, just setting up a couple of boxes here, some storage crates, to capture the items that we're currently producing from our steel that we set up in the last episode. So we've got our steel ingots going into for steel pipe. We've got our steel ingots going into steel beams. Uh, can't exactly remember what else steel is used for, and I am considering just bringing steel direct through the middle here. Um, but we're not producing tons of it to enable me to do that um, this it it's just this I mean we could uh, maybe drop another one of these guys down and you know we've got the we've got the input well it's moving fairly fairly consistency I mean consistency fairly consistently um, but I mean, we're, we're only just starting down our steel track, so I, I don't know, we'll I'll look into it soon. This is cruising, like this was full, um, you know, doing alright here, but this one uh, uses three steel ingots, this one only uses one, that'd be why. So we're getting a lot of steel pipes, and we're going to store a bunch in here. Um, and the reason we're going to need a bunch, let me just use my little vehicle here. Um, in order to make our next uh, space elevator thingy, uh, we need to deliver, I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of modular frames. But it's also a bunch of motors. I think it's like 150 motors at once. So to do the 150 motors, we're going to need 300 rotors. We're also going to need 300 stators. Now the stator comes from 10 wire and three of those steel pipes. So we can get, and I'd actually, I actually don't have a box just producing steel wire. We've got the one here for cable. Whoop, jumping around a bit. One here for cable, so I wonder whether it might be smart. I don't really didn't really leave myself enough room here. Um, like, do I do I go and find another copper vein, produce another line, or do I just split off this? Because I mean, where's copper around here? Copper, copper. We've obviously got this one right here. Got one there. That's miles that way. So we've got copper there. We could we could do a similar thing. We could bring copper down, smelt it, and like just do this one process. But I mean like this is always always seemingly full. I don't go through heaps of cable. I don't know whether to just tee off this for now and um, do that or whether we just produce a new line. Everything in this game seems to want a new line. Um, it's funny because that has copper in it, but there's no copper over there. Well, it looks like it has copper, let's put it that way. I mean, we could change this here and just tee off here and produce them and feed it over the top and <laughs> sit the box on top. Now we might do that. Do I have another... Do I have another smelter? I've got the materials to build a smelter. Let's do this. Let's turn you round. Pop you down. I don't know. What? Here? 
and then I'm going to get this guy out of here otherwise he'll get stuck I'll build him in amongst all the conveyors and I'll never be able to get him out so apparently uh, the next patch coming out does include a new vehicle I believe it's in experimental I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into the experimental branch you're gonna stop stop a little bit of a, an issue there. I'd like to be able to turn the tractor off. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, so the ne next update, which I guess is coming soon, uh, we'll have a different vehicle. So that could be interesting to play around with. Do I have... Not a foundry. A constructor. So if I do a constructor straight out the back of this guy. Maybe there. We can go here to here. <laughs> Got no plates. Can I have some plates, please. Uh, you plates? You are plates. That's fine. Ugh. These um these leg things are pretty cool and allow me to run around really nicely. But sometimes I end up running too fast. Uh, what else do I need? I'm gonna need a splitter. This guy. So let's break this. Let's get that splitter. Like so and then we can rejoin this guy up. Like that. I'm going to get rid of the copper that I currently have in my inventory, wherever it is. Because I would have got some copper then. There it is. Uh, we need to uh, two. Oh, check that out. It's like dodging the cable, isn't it? Uh, let's just build a post here and then... I'm going to feed back from this one to here. Okay. And then this guy will just be... Wire and let the spaghetti commence. So I'm then going to run If I bring this wire and these tubes together in a whatever the next thing we need to make is, the constructor So I place a constructor like here Oh boy, this will be fun. To this to here. And you, my friend, are going to make. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I can't build it in here. Maybe it needs to be. Let me just check this out. Could be needing to be in a particular machine. I'm just going to run over here. Modular frames are fine, I can set that up. Okay, so the, the, the stator, where is... Um, not that button. Tab? Nope. X. X it is. Uh, let's see. Not tutorials. Uh, probably. I guess maybe the assembler. Isn't that what I just put down? What did I put down? Oh, I put the wrong thing down, didn't I? That is a constructor. That guy needs to go, and I need an assembler, which I don't have the materials for. Okay. So I need three, four of them, I can just get them out of the chest, three of these guys, so. I've got a bunch of plates, that's fine. Let's grab some of these. Probably should make a few more crafting benches around, I guess, instead of having to run all the way back over here. 
Uh, what do I need? Three of these guys. Okay, that should be the three. Which will mean that I can... Build an assembler. Excellent. Yoik. Okay. You are doing your thing, yes. Let's build an assembler. Two inputs, one output. Nice. You, my friend, are going to be making this guy. And is it this one? No, that's steel we want to come from this top one. Yep, so that's the pipes. No power yet, okay, sorry. Uh, yep, I need a... Gonna need... What if I can hover a splitter? A bit weird, but can these be stacked? Maybe that's another um, another level. You know what? For now, I'm actually just gonna destroy this and try hooking this to here, and we will work on changing that later on. But this will get us our staters um, and, and start that process off one two three should start there we go nice okay step one uh, I guess step two will be over here somewhere and that'll be a uh, and what I'm trying to achieve at the moment is is this down here. Let me just uh, this. So I need 500 of these guys, and I need 150 of these guys. So let's work on the modular frames, which again, from memory, is the reinforced plates and just and rods, right? So iron rods, reinforced iron plate. I actually don't have iron rods being produced on this side of the base. So at the moment, these guys, I could make 23 of them. Um, do I have iron rods being... Oh yeah, I do. Stop looking. I found it. So it's this one. So I need to connect this one and, and one of those boxes over there. Which means I'm going to need another... Another assembler. So let's make... The three that we're going to need. And yes, I did just make six. <laughs> so I figured I'm going to need another one of these guys soon. Uh, so if I... Let's just place an assembler, assembler down here somewhere. Alright, can I put you down? Can I put you down here? Just for giggles. I'm going to put... Alright, and then one from... Is it this one? Nope. This one. Uh, don't don't fall down the edge. Really terrible, I know. It is spaghetti. I don't really like it going underground like that. I'd rather it kind of look like it should work. Um, all right. 
So this guy will be making, for the moment, this stuff. Now I do need to get some power down here. So where is my nearest power pole? Where do I have one that has some availability? Anywhere? Anywhere I have... Yep, that one. Probably going to overload my system in a second. Do need to build another coal power plant. To be quite honest. Alright, well that's now working. That is now producing uh, our little things. I'm going to go check the power because we have done a a big a big thing here. Let's check where we're at. Oh, at the moment it's not producing, or well, it's not consuming heaps. Best of these 218, it does peak up a bit. That's alright, I'm probably going to end up building another one of these guys in here. Because at the moment I can connect him up to that one. Um, and then, again, those power things. I can build one now. Um. Sure. On, up on legs. Let's build another splitter. There. Like that. And then from here. Cool. There we go. Excellent. Coal will be changed here. And I probably will need to upgrade these guys to the higher speed one. But let's do that. So that's higher speed. It's going to run short though. Excellent. Uh, I will need to go down and do the last leg down there, though. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Really need to do something about that. Uh, five. Excellent. So that's now full speed. We still need to go over there, don't we? That's, that slug down there is something I need to get to. It'd be quite handy. Not sure how to normally get down there, but... Quite handy indeed. So this guy's now spinning up. We can now produce 268 megawatts. Very nice. Kind of a whole coal processing area over here still very cool uh, so obviously the other thing we need to make now is the motor so the motor is going to take these guys and the stators that we're making over there and we're going to produce motors from it so again I could probably make another crafty thingy doobie way I need to make one of these. I need some more reinforced plates. Probably now using them all in that system down the bottom. Or oh, this will actually have some made, so I don't need to handcraft them anymore and come down and go, hi, please give me some. Thank you. Uh, so the two items I'm going to need, one's going to come from here. And the other one comes from there. So if I now make another one of these guys... Down here somewhere. Yeah. And then we want to go from output from here to not that side, I want to go to the other side. Let's let's be realistic about it. And then from you probably wanna do 
do something here. No, not that. This side. Thank you. Hey, spaghetti. And then you need power. Power could be fun. Uh, power line? Anyone? Oh, I'll put that other post there. Aha! Oh, look at that. We're making them. We are making them. So the two items that I need to produce to go for the next level here. Yoik. There's some already. So we need 500 and 150. That's going to take a while. Um, and it will be something that probably just going to have to leave the base running. Maybe AFK for a little bit. This is crafting. Another 8. Only another... 460 odd to go so you know what while we wait one I have a ton of stuff in my inventory let's check out if we've got any research that I've put in here analysis of the hard drive that's right I put the other hard drive in uh, no new research is available try again for further progress um, the heavy modular frames alternate blueprint for steel ingot that's interesting. And then an alternate quick wire. Do I take? Is this one I'm just going, yeah, I want one of these? Um, sure. Uh, quick wire requires a hundred. Wow. Fabric. Celia, I don't have any more hard drives. Why do I have this one and then there's another level, is it? How much do I have? Let's check our chest outside. Yeah, I got enough. Let's just do that one. And do the yellow power slug, I guess. You take that. Um, do I need to hit go? I need to hit go. 10 minutes. Cool. Next episode we'll check what that was. Let's put some of this stuff... Oops, I don't want to put that in there. Some of this stuff that I don't have anywhere else to put. Carapace. I think there is a research coming in the new update for the organs. So that should be nice. Anything else I can put away in here? Probably not. What's this? Coal. I've got a ton of coal. Uh, probably from picking these guys up. That's alright. Let's run down the back here and we've got a few minutes left. Let's go and check out what's around the corner. What's this? Just some sand? It's just a floor in the ground. That was weird. Do I have a... no, not that button. I do have a torch, don't I, V? Yes, there we go. Okay. Now, I have heard reports of spiders. I'm not really looking forward to that. Some limestone down here. It's just like a, a defect in the ground. Although it's got roots and stuff hanging from the ceiling there. This is pretty cool. Don't see anything around. I can hear all my factories burning their way up above. There's my copper uh, mine. I believe explosives are coming too pretty soon and, and normal weaponry. That should be quite cool. Uh, look, we've got a, a, a poison zone down here, so there's not much I can do with that. Um, I don't have the ability to get through this stuff yet. Obviously, this is something we're going to have to come to at a later date. Um, once we've worked out how to deal with the chemical, or the 
sulfurous sort of thing. Yoink. So that was a bit of an anticlimax. What are you? Bacon agaric. Okay. Alright. So not much I can do down here. Unfortunately. There's a rock there. Explosives would be nice to get rid of some of these rocks, to be honest. They do get in the way a bit. Let's check in and and see how much this has done. 27. Yeah, we're going to burn through those plates. They, um... Honestly, 38 of 500. We don't produce enough of those plates. I probably should have a whole secondary system making these things. Hey, you're just waiting on staters. Why is it stopped? Oh, I know why. <laughs> Don't at me. It's fine. Um, helps if it has some copper. Whoopsie. Um, yep, yeah, cool. So, now kick this back off again. That's fine. So this will now continue producing ingots. Very nice. So you have this in there. Um, steel. Turn some steel. Have some steel. Do you over here want some coal? Probably full. You're full. It's alright. I'll work out what to do with it. So again, it's it's only slow, and I'm I'm definitely not playing for efficiency. I have seen some footage and uh, pictures and stuff of people with super, super efficient bases and um, it's not me. This is this is my first playthrough. I, I didn't even realise coal was in it until I saw a, a spoiler on someone's thing saying, oh, it's tier, it's tier 3 or whatever it was. Um, but for me, I, I yep, just kind of experiencing it as much as I can um, without knowing everything that's going to happen so I, I'm really not sure what this unlocks I know there's obviously more things I need to unlock um, I still am enjoying working out what the best way to do things is and and yes this is not the best way to do things by all means uh, so let's check what what should I be working on next we've got jump pads and I mean the rebar gun would be nice so it might be a thing I should just be going yep I love this one uh, you can have some of them What is that? Oh, there's rotors. I have some rotors. And then I just need some more. Okay, I mean, I could probably do this now. I'll just run out. Uh, grab this one and go, I want that. This one and say, I want that. Um, this is probably using all these plates, so I've got to be. Oh, I've had enough of them. I'm, I'm going to take that stack of 100. Come on, jump through all the stuff. Okay, so I should have what is required, yes. Excellent, let's hit the button. The rebar gun. What do I need for that? Sounds like there's no audio for that one. Uh, rebar gun. I can make one of these if I just go and get some screws. And spiked rebar. Let's just get some... I should have some screws over here, maybe. Or am I just chewing through them? Probably just chewing through them. I oh, know, it's full. I'll take them. Thank you. We're obviously not using... Um, more than we're crafting. It's probably slow to build back up, but where am I going? Go over here. Uh, one of these planks. Thank you very much. A rebar gun. So we're going to need to give ourselves 
uh, a fair bit of rebar. So let's give ourselves, I don't know, let's use the rest of the stack that I've got. Another 30, 20, and it's 50 a stack it looks like, that's cool. So again we can have a little um, crafter spiked off the, the thing here, just producing the, the ammunition for us. But that should mean that I still wish I could put this on, on my hotbar. Um, that should mean I should be able to grab this guy. Okay. It's a single shot. Oh, that's not real exciting. Let's um see how good it is. So we can find something to shoot. Find an animal. Whoop, bang. Because what I would like to be able to do is switch between weapons quickly, and I don't think there's a way of doing that. Um, gotta be an animal around here somewhere. Hello? Here's one. Alright. I'm gonna hop out of here and I'm gonna actually jump up on the roof. I suppose it's not too bad in, in reload status. But, oof. Imagine if you're trying to rely on that. Are we kidding? No. Can I shoot that guy? <laughs> it's got a bit of drop. Oh, I got him! Maybe it's not that bad. This is going to be interesting. Oh, I can get him. There's a guy up here. And the problem is you can't switch to another weapon real quick. There's no like scrolling and oh, Tim, I got him with too short. Okay, so maybe all that first couple of times. Is he just stunned? Oh no, he's dead. All right. So maybe it is fairly powerful. All right, that's fine. Decent. That guy's still spooked. All right, so well, there you go. Uh, Rebar gun. So for the meantime, I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to let the the thing here do its do its oh, the the base do its thing. Actually, this is where I um recorded that little bit of the second uh, episode that I ever, ever did it was this area here that I built my base my pod crashed just down here somewhere so that's cool um, but yeah anyway thank you all for watching please leave your comments down below hopefully by the time we play next I'll have got some of these things I'm, I'm, I'm not going to guarantee that I have because that's a lot of Actually, quite a lot of work to get that next bit, or quite a lot of manufacturing. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.